Hello everybody and welcome back to my kitchen. I got a real special recipe for you today that was sent to me by one of my subs, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. It sounds delicious and we're going to try it. It's Italian potato salad. Now I have uh, in large chunks I cooked two and a half, two pounds, I'm sorry, two pounds of either red or gold potatoes. She said don't use russet. They fall apart too easy. So I cooked them till they were done and then I've let them cool off a little bit. Um, then she wants you to add one cucumber that I've got right here that you peel and you chop very fine. You see how small these are and they're not even I mean you know they're not all even I did the best I could but you know this isn't rocket science so that's a whole cucumber right there a whole cucumber going in with the the potatoes and I've peeled it and sliced it as thin as I could then I've got a half a cup of pitted ripe olives I cut mine in half. You can leave them whole, but I, I chose to cut mine in half. And then it calls for a large tomato cut in chunks. And I don't know why I didn't want to cut this ahead of time, but I didn't. So. I am cutting it now and we're going to just chunk it up. Mmm. This is a whole tomato now. I've only done half of it. going right in the bowl. Now I'm going to cut the other half, but I'm going to have to cut this big thing out of the middle where it came off the vine. Boy, this was a huge tomato. And I hope it's a good one. Sam's going in and out. It's going to be real hot today and he won't stay out there very long. So if you hear the door open and close, it's him. There we go. That's out. So there we go. All of this stuff has been washed now. Said large chunks. So the tomatoes are going in. Now you can put chopped celery in here, but uh, I'm not. I was going to put pepper rings in, but I couldn't find them. Now it says a medium onion. And I thought purple would be pretty in here. So we've got purple or red, whatever you want to call it. So we got this big onion. But it says a medium onion sliced thinly. So I'll adjust that and I may not add all of it because 
I'm more fond of a salad that doesn't have a lot of onion in it. But, but, but you adjust it to your taste now. You don't have to adjust it to mine. going to scatter this onion in here. I'm going to break it up as best I can. Did that go over? I don't think so. I think this is all the onion I'm going to put in here. that looks so good. Now, two tablespoons of fresh basil. I'm gonna, I just wash this and I'm gonna do the best I can with it. Don't you just love fresh basil? Oh my goodness. It's got the best taste. That's probably one tablespoon. I don't like that leaf. Let's get this other one going here. I don't want that. I'm going to say that's about got it right there. I'm going to get that in there. Oh my goodness. That looks terrific. Here's some loose ends. I'm just going to add, go ahead and add it. Just because I like basil. <clears throat> now we're going to add uh, two teaspoons. If I can find a darn teaspoon. I'll just have to make good. Fresh chopped garlic. Mine's not fresh, but going to be just as good. Now we're going to add some salt and pepper to taste. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, what a beautiful salad. And Shake this up a bit. I haven't. Shouldn't anything shouldn't happen to it. Now you're going to add either a, a third to a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, and that's exactly what this is. Depending on how much olive oil you want in here, I'm going to say that's enough. <laughs> One thing I didn't put out here, but I'll just, I'll use these. They're not my favorites. They're cute, but they're not my favorites. Let me 
and move this other stuff out of the way. Got my salad here. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a beautiful potato salad. Oh my gosh. Can you believe how pretty this is? Now, as usual, Sam is outside, so I'm going to cut you off, and I'm going to bring him back in here, and he's going to be the first to taste this. Now you have to let this, after you put it together, you should let it chill for four hours. Uh, we didn't let it chill. Sam's going to taste it just, just as I made it. And I'm going to pass it over to him. It sure is a good looking salad. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. One of the prettiest salads I've ever seen. Now it's salt and pepper to taste. Do you need anything? No. Well, I'll tell you what, it's absolutely delicious. You like it? Best salad I ever had. <laughs> the best one you've ever had. It's got everything in it. Yeah. Onion, cucumber, tomatoes, potatoes. Black olives. Black olives, basil. Mm-hmm. Mm. I was going to put some of those up mild banana pepper rings in it, but I couldn't find my jar. So, go figure. Well, if you don't eat this regularly, you need to try it. Well, it's, I think this is the best salad I ever had. Potato salad, no mm. less. Yeah. Yeah, potato salad. Mm, I don't know what else to say. It's just absolutely delicious. Well, all right, you guys, I'm going to read the uh, ingredients to you again. Two pounds of red or yellow potatoes, boiled until done. One medium onion. I used a purple one because I thought it would be pretty. Thinly sliced. One cucumber, peeled and sliced thin. A half a cup of pitted black olives, whole or cut in half. One large tomato, cut in chunks. One teaspoon of chopped fresh garlic, two tablespoons of fresh basil, chopped, and sh she says it must be fresh, and a third to a half a cup of virgin, extra virgin olive oil, and, and that just depends on how much olive oil you want in it, and then salt and pepper to, to taste, mix it all together, and, um, and then let it, free well, let it, uh, Chill. Chill for four hours. And that's it, guys. So, I hope you enjoy it. I really do. I believe they will. Yeah, I believe they will, too. So, thank you for coming in today. Please like if you like the recipe. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And be sure and hit that little bell that comes up when you subscribe so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video, a new video. Um, Sam doesn't have a joke today. I'm so sorry. So until next time, God bless every one of you.